The Democratic Party up to now has not been clear about which side they are on on the major issues facing this country. And here is the truth. You can't be for Wall Street and for the working people of this country. You cannot be for the drug companies and for the needs of senior citizens and veterans. You cannot be on the side of those workers who have lost their jobs because of disastrous trade agreements and support those corporations who have thrown millions of our workers out on the street. And the Democratic Party has to reach a fundamental conclusion. Are we on the side of working people or big money interests? Wow, what a fire burner, right? Remember Bernie Sanders 2016? Remember that Bernie Sanders? Man, what happened to that guy, man? Fucking play a little, feeling a little musical these days. I got words. I'm sitting here by my beer. Something like that. I'm not up to it yet. So, uh, uh, it's good to have music. So, you heard Bernie Sanders in there, right? Could Bernie Sanders be the next president of the United States? No. And I'm going to give you the number one reason why, right? Now, that was Bernie Sanders talking about truth. He was out on the stump talking about truth. He was th that was slightly after, uh, that was actually just before uh, Trump got elected. That was him running against Hillary Clinton, laying out the, laying out to the people why Wall Street is evil and the banks and you can't be on both sides. You can't be on the side of the worker and the people. And we all bought it, man. We bought that hopium, man. Oh, it was so good, man. Damn, if we had a president with that kind of view in the White House. Wow. Wow. So why did he, so, so can Bernie Sanders, he's still here, he's still alive, right? He's going to run against, um, he's going to run in the primary against Trump, right? You got Tulsi Gabbard in there, who's, everybody loves him, Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard can't win because, A, she's, she has two strikes. One, she's not on the side of the corporatists. The corporatist Democrats who pick their candidate, right? And she she's not she's not charismatic. She's not a firebrand like a Bernie Sanders, right? Who can get grassroots money, uh, or even like an Obama who who was able to motivate the 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 masses. See, that doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen someday in the future, right? Everybody knows who Tulsi Gabbard is, and she has never once delivered even anything close to a firebrand uh, uh, speech, right? So what makes you think that somehow she's going to come out of nowhere and, 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 and rise up the ranks and, and everybody's going to send them money? Not going to happen. As far as the shit sandwiches, I just want to get the shit sandwiches out of the way and I'll talk about Bernie Sanders and why he, it, it, the, the number one reason why he can't win. I'm going to tell you what it is. I got the, I'm going to play a clip for you that sums it up in one minute. So, um, so you have all the shit sandwiches. You have the Democrats rolling out uh, Joe Biden. They're rolling out uh, Cory Booker, Kamala Harris, uh, Betos, Mr. Betos, O'Rock Betos, right? Whatever his name is, right? Well, these are shit sandwiches, right? They, none of them can, none of them can, uh, uh, War, uh, Elizabeth Warren, Pocahontas, none of them can win because they're corporate sponsored nobodies right they they're not able to they're not they they don't have the 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 spark or the or the charisma or the authenticity of bernie sanders or donald trump right trump is you know is 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 probably one of the most authentic presidents we've had in modern times now you can argue that that he's that he lies he makes stuff up but he's still extremely 
believable and authentic and and uh, talented enough to go out in front of the crowd and and woo them. And so is Bernie Sanders, but Bernie Sanders makes the fatal flaw. And I'm going to tell you what it is. This is because Bernie Sanders is saying, well, he can't be president. Why? Because because he's a Jew, right? Nobody in America will vote for a Jew. Right? Wrong, right? Because he did win the Democratic primary. Remember that. Remember that, that Bernie Sanders beat Hillary Clinton in the Democratic primary. Hands down. There was overt uh, election fraud where the Democratic Party rigged the election against Bernie Sanders in the form of the, the ones that we know was voter suppression where they, they, they purged people off the, off the rolls. They closed polling stations. There were entire districts where votes weren't counted. In California alone, it's estimated that, uh, what is it, two million, uh, 2 million votes weren't counted. They were pushed into provisional areas or whatever. Fuck it. It's the rigging. They rigged the elections, right? Everywhere where there was a open caucus, 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 <laughs> carcass, uh, where people vote out in the open, Bernie Sanders wins. Everywhere where there's a closed, rigged machine election, Hillary Clinton wins, right? So it was rigged. The thing was rigged. They, the exit polls didn't match, right? There was so many, there's so much evidence on the table of election uh, uh, fraud. And if that wasn't enough, the Democrats even admitted in open court, Jared and Elizabeth Beck, who championed, and, and Nico House down in Florida, who championed the uh, DNC fraud lawsuit, got the DNC to admit in open court that they pick the candidate. So the Democratic primaries are rigged, right? That's important to understand going forward. Now, can a candidate overcome the margin of cheating? Mm, yes. That, in, in other words, if it's a tsunami of support, which Bernie Sanders had, and that was an exceptional move where the Democrats just said, fuck it, we're not going to, we, we cannot let this guy win. We cannot, we'd rather lose to Trump then win to Bernie Sanders. Why? Because he's 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 all the things that that the corporatists fear, which is break up the banks, overturn Citizens United to get money out of politics, single payer Medicare for all, a healthcare system that takes down big pharma, right? Uh, raise the the corporate tax rate, right? Tax the rich and hold them accountable. Close the corporate loopholes, right? He he's, he stood for everything that was you know, lower military spending because we don't have an enemy, right? And on and on, right? The, the, all the things that, um, what else? You know, uh, college tuition at city and state universities free. Delete student loans, right? Delete student debt, right? Convert to wind and solar and power and wind and solar power and get, get wean ourselves off oil, right? These are all the things that Sanders believed in I mean, he has to evolve. He he was, I think, I think two years later, the uh, the issue of Im immigration is something that he would have to evolve on, right? But but that's not that's neither here nor there because that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to tell you the number one reason, unequivocally, the number one reason why Bernie Sanders will never be the president of the United States ever, right? And it's not because he's a Jew. It's not because he's white. It's not because he's a socialist, the, the S word. It's not because he's too old, a Democrat. He's not a Democrat. He's a misogynist, a sexist, a racist. Uh, anybody who thinks that Bernie Sanders is a sexist and a racist and a misogynist is, is a screwball, is an idiot, right? Is profoundly stupid to think that a man like Bernie Sanders is, is, is any of those things. He's the opposite of those things. He's a bleeding liberal, right? He, he believes in, you know, the, the opposite of, of discrimination, right? So he, that, that's ridiculous, right? And anybody who followed the, his campaign for two minutes knows that, right? Right. So and I'm going to tell you. Now, the number one reason Bernie Sanders cannot win, right? and this is the number one reason, is betrayal. And who did he betray? Did he portray the Democrats? No, he sided with the Democrats, right? When he was cheated and pushed out of the nominating process, right? He, he, he sided with the enemy. He sided with the Democrats. He supported Hillary Clinton. 
He went on the campaign trail with Hillary Clinton. But more than that, right, he took $240 million in support from the grassroots, right? An estimated 40 million people gave their money and their support to Bernie Sanders. He didn't take money from the corporations. He didn't take money from the super PACs. Nobody gave him anything. In fact, they ran interference from start to finish, and he was still able, with the power of the people blowing at his back, he was able to, to, to rise up, and the, and the crowd held him up on their shoulders and carried him, right? That was Bernie Sanders, 2016. Amazing campaign. Right, the total media blackout. Meanwhile, he's filling stadiums, twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand people. I saw it with my own eyes. I was in Washington Square Park in New York, where he pulled, you know, an estimated thirty thousand people. He couldn't even get close to the stage. I was all the way in the back, but I was there and I saw it. You know, and and uh, he was able. The people were were. He would say, we need to fight, and people would dig in and give him $27 and send him another 27 and 27 They got me for 100 bucks at least, right? Because I, I believed. I believed in what he was saying, right? And that, my friends, right there is the problem, right? That people like me, two years later, are never coming back. The reason why Donald Trump won is because Hillary Clinton cheated and lost to, to Donald Trump. Now... Bernie Sanders with the support of the Democratic Party. See, Hillary Clinton lost 40 million young people and people that were supporting Sanders for the most part because not only did they lose faith in, in, in the election process and Bernie Sanders, they, not only did they lose you know, faith in the Democratic Party, but they lost faith in Bernie Sanders and they went home. They took their ball and went home, right? And, 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 and Bernie Sanders is the, the number one guilty party in this, right? Because he never admitted. See, Bernie Sanders all along through the campaign knew, right? He was telling us about the, how the, the Clinton Foundation, how they were uh, uh, f funneling money, right? They were, they were laundering money. They were telling the public to send money to the DNC and that money would support down ticket ballots. They even told Bernie Sanders to tell his people to send money to the DNC to support down ticket ballots, right? And once that money came in, the down ticket ballots got less than 1% of the money and all of the money got, got uh, uh, diverted to Hillary Clinton's campaign, right? That, that, was, that was the truth. And Sanders wasn't shy or quiet about telling anybody about this. Bernie Sanders wanted to break up the banks, right? And have you heard him say it lately? No, he's he, he totally, all right, he's a sellout, right? He sold out, right? But the number one reason why he can't win is because of Russiagate, right? See, it, it, everybody, anybody paying attention, right? And I don't mean the hacks, the, you know, the, the you know, the, the screwballs on the, on the left, the progressives that argue that Sanders, uh, was didn't sell out and and that that this doesn't really matter that Russia had something to do with the riggings of the elections no it those people that's not who I'm talking about those people have a have skin in the game they have a vested interest in proving that none of that was right so that they can reform the broken Democratic Party and try to cheat their own way into power, right? That's what's going on there, right? But the truth of the matter is the people that Bernie Sanders really turned their back on was, was people like me, right? The 40 million strong that believed in the message, f supported the cause, showed up at the rallies, and and spoke about it and and well I didn't speak about it I wasn't even here I'm, I'm new <laughs> but I was there I mean I I supported it in my own way through through following it and like everybody else gave money to the campaign right I, I'm here now <laughs> I ain't going away you know. but 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 the point is that that is the reason and I'm going to play the clip in a second because you're going to have to listen to me and I'll, and I'll I'll come back and 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 you can listen to it right. that is the number one reason that Bernie Sanders said. Russia did it, right? When all of the evidence, all of the evidence on the table 
showed that Russia had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with his loss to Hillary Clinton. Everything, everything, everything had to do with Hillary Clinton and the DNC and their campaign team, Robbie Mook, John Podesta, uh, Donna Brazil, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, cheating, out and out cheating, that we uh, discovered a lot of it through WikiLeaks. The, the, um, the dump, you know, the, the, the inside dump, that had nothing, absolutely not a stitch of evidence that had anything to do with, with uh, Russia. <laughs> that was made up. That was a made up story. Robbie Mook and, 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 and look how far, look how deep it went. It went all the way into the FBI. Comey covered up the, the, uh, the, the Clinton crimes, the, the, the email scandal, the deletion of 30,000, you know, emails, right? Tampering with evidence, right? Destroying evidence, right? And we saw all, all that out in the open and Bernie Sanders went along with it. Bernie Sanders said, yeah, Russia, anybody who doesn't understand that is, is out of their mind. So check this out. Do you accept the intelligence community's assessment of Russia's involvement in motivating the hacks during the election? And how do you understand the president-elect's resistance to that analysis? Yes, I do agree with the intelligence communities. They are virtually unanimous. I think the evidence is overwhelming. Uh, and we should be clear, this is not just the first time they've done it, and I suspect they're working on other uh, efforts as well in other countries around the world. Uh, this was a way for them to help elect the candidate of their choice, Mr. Trump. Uh, and I think it was also an effort to try to undermine in a significant way American democracy. So I think the evidence is very clear that Russia did play a very harmful role, unacceptable role, and it's something that we have got to deal with. Uh, I think what Mr. Trump appears to be saying uh, is that, no, it's not true, it's not accurate, I don't trust the intelligence committees, uh, and I think uh, that is an unfortunate position to hold. See, that's the whole summation right there, right? He said that uh, he accepts the intelligence community's assessment, right? Now, we found out that the, the intelligence communities are bought and sold. Tr Comey, McCabe, uh, Strozak, and Page, and... All these, all these crooked insider, you know, insider pool kind of characters, all bought and sold. You saw McCabe got seven hundred thousand dollars from the Clinton Foundation to run a failed campaign for his wife. All the money flowing in, the the promise of jobs, the promise of of future in office, right? We know that the that the intelligence communities are deeply corrupted, and as Bernie Sanders saying that Trump is wrong to point it out, right? And he also said that uh, to help elect a candidate that Russia made efforts to help elect a candidate of their choosing that they liked, right, which is Trump. Now, there's no evidence ever anywhere on the record, off the record, nowhere at all we can find any evidence whatsoever that Russia inf influenced the American election at all, right, unless there was over-cheating that they're, they're trying to say that that – Okay, well, say it. Then, the, then the machines are riggable, and why aren't you doing anything to to unrig the machines? But that's all bullshit. That's that's just absolute bullshit. There was never any evidence to suggest that Russia was able to influence the election at all. Taking out stupid Facebook ads or whatever they did, it was it's just ridiculous, right? The the single reason why. The single biggest influence why Hillary Clinton lost is because when Bernie Sanders put the knife in his own participants' back, right, they turned and smeared Hillary Clinton. That's what happened, right? That's what the the trolls that the the Clinton campaign and and the corporate media are trying to say was Russia wasn't Russia. It was the Bernie Sanders supporters that were attacking and 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 exposing the corruption of Hillary Clinton's campaign and the DNC. That's what, what the exposure was all about. Right. right to, and then he, it's, he says to undermine American democracy. No, the undermining of the American, American democracy is when a candidate gets cheated and fails to call it what it is. You're dishonest, Mr. Sanders. You're the dishonest party here by turning your back on 
40 million strong that would have carried you all the way to the finish line, that would have helped you defeat Trump as an independent or even the, the Green Party gave you carte blanche to run as an, you know, as a green candidate, right? And you, you, you said no. You walked away and you supported, you supported Clinton. Now, for you to ever overcome, right, he also said, the evidence is very clear Russia did it. Right? It's just, it's just, it's fictional. And that, my friends, right there is the number one hurdle and the number one reason Bernie Sanders will never be the president of the United States because he lied to his own people. That's the that's the that's the cardinal failure right there. It's not any of the other things that he wanted. He wanted these things, and it, it rocks the boat of of Wall Street. No, he could, in fact, overcome the margin of cheating, right, with the people behind him, blown, you know, like the wind of the people behind him. But what he can never overcome is the fact that he never apologized to his people. He never looked into the camera and said. I, I made a I made a judgment. I made I had bad judgment. I used bad judgment and I protected my career as a senator. And I threw y'all under the bus and said, Yeah, well Russia did it. Right? When you knew when he knew all along that Russia had absolutely nothing to do with it. And if he doesn't know that, then he's a, a blisteringly stupid person. Right? A person that has absolutely no uh there's absolutely no reason why you would want to put this guy in any position of power, right? Right. That's that's the fact. Right. So, so Sanders, if Sanders, if Sanders could ever muster up any kind of momentum in this coming primary, Sanders is 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 littered with this with this taboo right here that he supported the RussiaGate nonsense that for two years dragged the American people into the in the deepest, ugliest, stupidest fake rabbit hole ever. Marcus Conti reporting.